Hello, dear aquarists. Welcome to this case of fish diseases. Today about an oranda, which was suffering, and I'll show you the, the fish that is suffering, uh, well, in the water, how it was swimming, because it was an oranda with a bacterial and maybe a viral infection. Hard to tell, but let's see what I found here in my examination. And you can find a lot of details on fish diseases in my books, which is available or are available in different languages. And here we see the suffering oranda. You see some whitish coating, extra slime on the head. And the fish was getting weak and heavy respiration. So I just showed it here in a little bowl. And we found bad gills. Look at those gills. These parts bleeding here. So that is a case could be caused by bacteria most likely and internal in the organs what surprised me was the reddish intestine bloody red and necrotic tissue in the spleen and our bad formed spleen look all the blood darker parts in it so that's two unhealthy organs so we suspected here a viral infection and only a diagnostic lab can confirm this because those particular signs of pathological symptoms, which are I could find for me, looks like a viral infection, but at the same time, bacteria occur, and that might be secondary, and that you can try to treat with an antibiotic, and you can try to treat in the water and at the same time in the fish food. So ask advice from your fish doctor. So he can help you. And at the same time, you can help to restore the health of the fish with a functional fish food like Dr. Baslier, Biofish Food Professional Treat, or the grapefruit seed extract Moringa. So this was a complex case, more easy to understand fish diseases when you read my books, or get your training as a fish doctor or fish doctoring specialist at my Patreon. So this was again a video of a special case of an Aranda goldfish with particular pathological signs, which sometimes puzzles me also. And sometimes you have to send to a laboratory to get the adequate diagnostic details. Thank you for watching.